I'm Glenn, City of Adelaide Fishing, COAF Field Team. And this round, well, we were out the other day, yesterday in fact, catching uh, some bass on their beds using uh, <coughs> Yamamoto Cinco's and our Cinco rod. And um, what we noticed, because bass are on their beds and we definitely like fly fishing, uh, we pulled out uh, one of our old patterns and kind of made some adjustments. So we want to just talk about that and how we tied it. And then hopefully over the course of the next few days, if not week or so, we'll be able to get out there and try it on some of those bass on their beds. So this one, we don't even have a name for it. It's just basically a olive marabou with a pink marabou um, plume and then some tying thread and the hook. So here Show is that. the one. Right here and we'll show a closer picture of it it's made out of um, a pink tying thread it's got a pink underbody it's got a red dumbbell eyes small and then an olive plume all right and it's got a bent uh, shaft on the hook and we'll show that in the video and it pretty much when it sits on the bottom it sits like this and kind of sits enticingly and you kind of key on the pink so that uh, when you see that light color disappear in the water, uh, that means that bass took it, so set the hook. So we find that uh, we tend to uh, get better hook sets when we see the uh, light color disappear on our fishing fly when we're fishing bass on beds. So here's what it looks like when it's wet. We'll show a better one there and kind of streamline when it's wet, but it actually flutters um, on the bottom, kind of getting the bass to strike. All right, so... Uh, Take a look at how we tie it. Okay, to start things off, we'll bend the hook. In this case, we're going to bend the hook inward and like so. So we've got one in the vice grip, about basically the width of that vice grip's jaw. And then we'll take a set of pliers and bend it up. And what that does is give us this shape so that when it sits flat on the ground or on the bottom of the floor, you'll have that shape. Next thing is we'll put the hook in the vise. This is a 2 watt hook that we use typically for striped bass. Make sure it's secured. Then we'll bring in some pink fluorescent Dacron tying thread in a 7 knot. We'll lay a base. Once that base is uh, laid, we'll go ahead and uh, bring in the red dumbbell eyes. And this will help uh, keep the fly so the hook rides bend up. We'll use some crazy glue to hold it in place. And with that, We'll do some more wraps, make sure that it's tied securely before we move on to the next step. Okay, so far so good. Next thing we'll do is add in that pink marabou. One pink marabou plume to be the underbody for this pattern. Once we have that secured, tie it off, snip it off. We'll get prepped for the next um, step, which is tying in the olive plume. Okay, so we'll flip it over, get the olive plume lay it just behind the dumbbell, tie it in place, get it secured. We'll move the line just over to the forward of the dumbbell. And then once you have that, we'll snip that off and prep the next plume. And when that next plume will be almost done. The second plume in place, we're almost there. Just got to finish it up with some head wraps. We'll do that with the Dacron tying thread. Close everything out with a little whip finish. Once we have that done, we're done. Bottom line, we've got a new pattern. Not sure what to call it. For now, bass on the bed fly. Hopefully, we'll be able to try it out here shortly on the local ponds.